Hey guys, it's a uh, wobble to the flow here, and uh, I'm gonna teach you how to make a wobble base with citrus in FL Studio 10. Now you don't need the uh, producer's edition to make the wobble or to even access citrus, but to have it saved and be able to be uh, messed with and reopened, you do have to have producer's edition or something of that value. So you're going to right click one of the four channels that you have and insert and then click on citrus. I already have it in there. So we're going to go here, left click, preset, default. Pretty easy. Go to OP1 and adjust this first slider until you have a straight line and then a straight edge and then a fly. Bottom. So it should sound like this. And then you're going to bring that number 2 all the way down to 0, and then make it so it's 0.5, and it should sound like this. All I'm doing is click and see. I'm not changing anywhere that it's on, so. Yeah. You're going to go to filter 1, take that output all the way 0, take filter 1 all the way up, take output again in the same row that filter 1 was at, pull that back all the way up. Get SVF, pull it up one to LP. Now you're gonna click the cut, click LOF, and now take this dot right here that I'm moving, pull it all the way to the back, and get the dot that's at the top, and pull that all the way to the back. You should have a pretty nice triangle. You're gonna right click that last point, delete it, and it should come up with this white triangular wave. And it should sound like this. If you don't have tempo on, turn tempo on. And then you can make that even more of a wobble by messing with this speed knob. But don't get past uh, 3 o'clock on the uh, knob because it'll sound like this. The only downside to using this method would probably be that uh, if you have a wobble going this fast and you want it to start going this fast and then advance up to this fast, you have to all make those in different channels. So like I'm saying that if you want a wobble like this, you're going to have it have to have one channel of that and you're going to have to insert another channel of citrus. And then the easiest way to keep these wobbles all in place and, you know, not be having to recreate them every time is just click save preset, come up with something like that. But uh, I already have one saved in here, so slow wobble. I'm gonna increase, uh, leave it speed. Yep, and then I'll have to make it there. Ah, I'm in snare, aren't I? Yep. Uh, make it there so it should sound like this. Ah. Pretty easy. Now if you put some uh, beat to it, it can turn out to be a thing of beauty. So I'm just going to make a nice pretty quick pattern here and uh... there and then a way that you can make it so that you have more space to work with is uh... see this square up here it uh... changes how many uh... how many uh... beats per bar you have uh, yeah, I think it's beats per bar. And uh, so four would be one bar, and then eight would be two bars. So if you really want to get technical, but I'm just gonna carry on with that pattern that I had with that bass, and it should sound a little something like this. If I can get this done in time. So there, it should sound like this. <laughs> You can always go here, put it in there, pattern one, there, there, add another pattern pretty quick.
and then uh, have this one. Have a pretty simple uh, have a pretty simple dubstep going on, and then put that in, and then you're gonna click this button song. And it'll play what's in, and it'll play what's in the right pane. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the basics you need to know about uh, wobbling and uh, putting patterns into the track and everything. So, if this helped you like it, and uh, if you want to hear some of my music that I make, uh, feel free. Just look in my videos, visit my channel, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.